Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly hanged it with the action With the vato speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the prop and not the re-up Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Mane Just caught a touchdown from the bay I'm gonna let you. Okay. Well, <laughs> What's up, Tig? Let me introduce everybody, dog. First, I'm going to start with Mac 1-0, West Side Rider. We got Killer Star. got Killer Star. We got Killer Star. I got two trips in Atlanta. Bentley Farrell. They ask me how I live. I say like Tony Montana. But every nigga in the game probably feel like that. Especially they deal the little cane. Cause they deal the little crank. We got to start this motherfucker off right. Start it off right, cuz. Rest in peace to kill a stone. Alvin Nelson, yes sir. You hear me? Yes sir. My motherfucking guy. Yes, you sir. hear me? Spent we was on cash money together. Real gangster. I'm not trying to be uh sentimental or emotional, but that's one of the last people that that just really wanted to see me win. Like, like and everything I do in a lot of my ways, I emulate him. That was the flyest nigga in the world of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we. he was a beautiful person. Mm-hmm. You know, even with the veneers and all that, I yeah. said, after I take the diamonds out of my mouth, I'm going to do the veneers like Wody. Right. Like, when a lot of people say Wody, like, that's Wody. That's, right. That's who Wody was. Stone was Wody. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's neither here nor there, but... Yeah, it's, Rest it's, in peace that, to kill him, man. That's the emotional. That's the emotional subject matter for me. Yeah, and 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 killer was uh like a like your uncle, big cousin, like that was my big brother, big brother. He was like really all I had at one time because I'm talking about when everybody in the world shut the door on me. It's like I guess he just saw something in me that he believed in, and he just <laughs> you know. Right. He just took me in and kind of embraced me. Right. From from day one when I got down to uh, Cash Money, man, me and Killer just connected. You know what I mean? To is though I used to have my motherfucking P, my MF on. I'm down at the fucking projects right across the street at the bar. Motherfuckers looking. It's like, no, he would kill her. Oh, 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 I hear you. You was different. You feel like, what I'm that's, saying? That's why I started getting manicures and pedicure from watching him do this. Right. He was different. I got out of jail. Are hey, you fucked up? I say, yeah, big brother, I'm fucked up. I'm going to put you back where you was at. Mm. I'm on my way to BR. I'm riding with like three quarters. Mm. 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 And if y'all don't know who Killer Stone is, you know, rest in peace. There's a video on YouTube. Y'all can go you know, check him out before he, you know, before he passed, you know, he counting, you know. Yeah, but a Four, lot of, a six, lot of things that I do. Seven, eight hundred thousand or some shit. <laughs> 3.5. Oh, wow. 3.5. <laughs> and told a nigga, it, uh, yeah, there's four trash bags over there. Another nigga gonna be counting for a long fucking yeah. time tomorrow. Man, they got figures all next to the hundreds, bro. Somebody trying to mess up my cup, man. Look at this here, man. We talk. Check this out. 
Wody, according to Google, is a New Orleans term for people who live in the same ward or district, with New Orleans being divided into 17 different wards, which is subdivided into precincts, can also be pronounced as Wodies. New Orleans, what up? We back in the city talking about legends. Salute the almighty mob. Now, a lot of people would go on to give credit to the person that we're covering today with coining that phrase, a phrase that would go on to be made famous by several New Orleans artists, but specifically the Hot Boys. A lot of people would say that the person that we're covering today is a legend in multiple games. It really just depends on who you talk to. And that person is none other than Alvin Killer Stone Nelson. Now, for those that spend time in the N.O., especially the Magnolia, Killer Stone doesn't need any introduction. But if you had your ears to the streets and watched Cash Money along their rise, Killer Stone's name and face might be familiar. And even if you haven't heard of him, the person that Lil Wayne would go on to call an uptown legend, and I don't think he was talking about music, is also responsible for co-writing one of Cash Money's biggest hits, Still Fly by the Big Timers, along with several other songs for the group. He would also go on to write two songs for Mac-10 during the time that he spent on Cash Money that almost seemed like um, an arms race between them and No Limit with No Limit signing Snoop and Cash Money signing Mac-10. On Mac-10's 2001 album with the label, We Could Never Be Friends, he would be credited on a song titled Bang or Ball. The next two years, he will be credited with helping the label CEO Baby on his 2002 album On The Rocks, as well as Boone Gotti's 2003 release, Perfect Timing. But as far as music goes, he would really solidify himself in 2009 when he would find himself in a group titled The D-Boys, and they would go on to release what would be considered an underground classic, Life of a D-Boy, on the 404 Music Network. And it would be on that project where Killer Stone would be able to show off his lyrical ability firsthand. And he probably could have done even more with the music and took it further. But as you've seen in the clip previously, he was busy. Killer Stone would spend some time in prison and in a city like New Orleans, where you would think that everybody dies with gun violence. He would unfortunately pass away at the young age of 38 behind bars in the Louisiana State Prison. Now, I was unable to find exactly what he was incarcerated for at the time of his death. But during the trial of a man named Leroy Rabby, who would be arrested for drug trafficking on February 22nd, 1997, you would see exactly how much the police wanted Alvin Killer Stone Nelson. Responding from information from a confidential informant, an officer by the name of William Cervallo would testify that him and his partner, Jake Snop will find themselves in the Magnolia housing projects where the two were conducting a proactive patrol in their black tourists looking for any illegal drug activity where they would stumble upon a person matching the description from their confidential informant, that person being Leroy Rabby. During the proceedings at Rabby's trial, it would come out that the authorities will find 30 pieces of crack cocaine and a medicine bottle as well as $102,000 on Rabbi's person. Though Officer Savalo would testify at that trial that he had no recollection that the name Stone was ever discussed with Rabbi, and Leroy Rabbi's appeals paperwork where he claimed that the authorities had no probable cause to stop him, he would claim that the officers had offered him complete leniency if he would provide the two with any information on Alvin Killer Stone Nelson. Saying further that after his arrest, he would be placed in a patrol car and the officers would drive around with them asking him specifically if he knew, quote, Stone or, quote, anything bigger than this here, speaking on Leroy Rabby's case. He would admit to telling the police that he knew Stone because he lived around the corner, but he did not know where he kept his stuff. Now, it is my estimation that if the police were willing to let a nigga that they caught with $100,000 and 30 pieces of crack rock go for any information on this one person, that shows you exactly what the situation was with Killer Stone. But I'm sure he wasn't going to get to keep that 100000 though. 
Now, y'all make sure y'all hit the red bell and subscribe button right under this video so y'all know when this real trail spill shit is dropping. Y'all get in the comment box. We definitely need our people from NO state in a section. If y'all was in the Magnolia at this time, y'all definitely get in the comment box. Y'all let these people know what songs from Killer Stone they need to go check out. Tap in, let me know what other legends we missed, what we need to cover, what we got wrong. All of that hit me directly. Instagram, Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Till the next time, we appreciate y'all rolling out the red carpet. And oh, salute the almighty mob.